When Naomi was surprised over what the chief security guard told her, you know that uh, they said the chief security guard in question was recommended by Queen Naomi. According to the information, they said the man in question is highly recommended that there was a certain king that he has worked for. And throughout the period he was working with the king, there was no bad stories or bad record about him. So when Queen Naomi uh, recommended him to KBAC, although information have it that uh, his father is from Ilefe, while the mother is from Akure, and their family is a good one, they have a very good family traits. So when he was recommended by Queen Naomi, the KBAC did not doubt uh, his uh, potential, and he was employed immediately. And ever since KBAC employed him, this issue of uh, the Oloris giving out dollar to have their way or to do things their own way, those things are no longer happening in the palace. And because uh, Quinomi is the one that employed this uh, security guard in question, they said uh, the wives hate him so, so much. They hate the guard. And coupled with the fact that he doesn't allow them have their way into the palace. This restriction thing, it is effective because the security guards are implementing it strategically and they are doing everything within their power to ensure that they keep to the rules and regulation of the palace. And this is something that is against the Oloris. And that is why I said at the beginning of that video the other time that this might be a setup, you know? So, and the security guard in question is such a smart guy. Yes, so, because from this news, from this particular video, I find out that he is more smart than those of them that think that they are setting him up. So, they said an elder. I don't know if you have watched the video, but let me just touch it a little bit. An elder came to the palace, introduced a young lady, saying that the young lady is his daughter from another woman that he did not get married to. <laughs> Okay, they said the lady started coming into the palace. Before you know it, he, he she started uh, coming closer to the security guard. The security guard in question is married, though. Yes, they said he's married with kids. Mm -hmm. So, the lady started coming closer to the security guard. Security guard will not push her away now. After all, she's a beautiful girl, and uh, uh, you cannot just push someone that is coming to you just because you are you feel insecure. But they said, while the lady was coming, that uh, the security guard was having this discernment that uh, this lady is up to something, you know? So every of their conversation, the security guard was recording it, but the girl did not know. Everything, even to the point they said the girl started asking the security guard out. At first, they said it was the security guard that asked the lady out, so that was what they told us. But through the... Uh, recordings, the uh, their conversation recorded by the security guard. That was how we find out that it was the lady who offered to, you know, uh, take the guy out, and the man followed suit, only for her to come out to claim that the guy entered her by force, of which there was nothing like that from what we heard. You know, and because they were often seen together, because uh, people are seeing them staying together, just staying together, even going out together sometimes, they believed the lady. And because the people that are doing the plans, they have upper hand over the security guard. The security guard have no say. That was why they were able to arrest him for not doing anything, for not confirming the the claim that the lady laid against her, against him. So, when they arrested him, he decided to call Queen Naomi from the police custody, telling Queen Naomi that he have something to give to her, that she should try and come and see him. And not only that, that she needs to be very, very careful. Because the plan against her in that palace is something, is too much. And because they were there, they were doing a whole lot of protection, you know. But now that they are out, 
that the women can go extra mile to get to Kabye. So that Kwenomi needed to be very careful. And these people, they come with jazz, they come with juju, they come with anything. But because Kabyesi have given a strict uh, 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 instruction against them, that they were able to stop them from entering the palace. But now that they are out, that a lot of things might go wrong, Kwenomi should be very careful. Even going to the palace right now, that if Kabyesi start behaving somehow, she should know that these women must have entered the palace to do one or two things because they have tried over and over again to come to the palace to do one or two things. Then he also speak to Quinomi to please speak to Kabyesi on his behalf that he did he did not do any of those things that he was accused of. That these people really want him out of the picture so that they will be able to uh, achieve their aim with Kabyesi or in the palace. So one thing I do know is that when I heard that news, I know that the Oloris must be involved because that uh, restriction that was implemented on them, they did not find it funny one bit. And you know that if it is those uh, other security guards, the, uh, those ones that they said KBSC pushed to his uh, cocoa farm in Ogun State, those ones, when the Oloris give them dollars, ah, they will just go against KBSC's order. But these two guards, uh, the ones that uh, that have been arrested by uh, Kabiesi right now over this uh, accusation, they said those ones, they know they look their face. They don't even know them. They don't even care to collect anything from them. They are contented with what Kabiesi is paying them. And information have it that Kabiesi is always paying his uh, staff very well with some other entitlement like that. So those of them that are working against KBS, they are just greedy ones. That when the wives volunteer to give them money, you see them misbehaving. So uh, I am not surprised when I hear this news because at first I said it, that if you look at this accusation critically, you find out that it is a setup. Now, when they asked the girl to provide evidence of all she was saying against the guy, she couldn't provide any evidence. And the guy in question provided evidence so definitely they will still release him from what uh, if this information is true because they said he told Queen Naomi that he recorded everything so by the time he will be able to provide the phone and all the recordings I'm sure KBS is going to release him because KBS don't want to lose such a credible uh, security guard Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. When I get this information from different sources, I come here and share it with you. And also remind you that they are all alleged. They are all rumored information. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Love you guys.